The guard places Antoine in a line of prisoners waiting to be executed by guillotine. The executioner escorts his victims up the scaffold to the guillotine one by one. He stoically ushers one terrified man up to the platform and places his head into the lunette and locks it into place. Then he pulls the rope as the blade comes down and the prisoner's head tumbles into a bloody red sack. His assistants toss the body into a wagon as he nonchalantly walks over to grab another terrified prisoner and receives, repeats the process. Antoine observes another victim being beheaded. He stands where the prisoner was standing in line ahead of him. He is next. He can feel his heart beating louder and louder, drowning out the sounds of the crowd. His breathing is heavy and labored. He is escorted up to the guillotine by the executioner. The executioner yells but can't be heard over the sound of ringing in his ears, his heavy breathing and heart beating faster and faster. His head is locked into place and he sees the sack full of bloody heads. The blade begins to fall. He hears a buzzing sound, a screech of the blade falling, then suddenly everything looks red. I am drowning. No drain the life force. Drawing, pulling at my face. The glimmering sun through the red threads of the sack, the colors and shapes twisting and turning. We hear the cries of suffering people. Time seems to unravel as if my entire existence has happened and is happening entirely in this one moment. Montage of his headless body going into a fire, his head being dissected by a doctor, Rocille's bludgeoned wife and kid, dead and bloody. He sees himself as a child. He is with a friend, playing, <laughs> laughing, shooting slingshots, running through a field. He sees himself as a child, around six or eight years old. He is with a friend, playing, laughing, shooting slingshots, running through a field. I see my mother. It's not my mother. She's fading just as I am. He sees his mom in the distance across a field. Child version of him runs toward her, never getting closer. I can't go with her. I can't go with her. It's getting dark. Yeah. The darkness is creeping in. The previous vision dissolved to visions of maggots eating decaying flesh and shots of the decaying bodies of Rocille's murdered family. So much pain, so much darkness, so much terror all at once. See, my body decomposing in rots right before my eyes. The various grotesque visions flash before him faster and faster. Three, two, one, awaken.